This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. So it's starting at last, Admiral. We found our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes. Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yes, I have. It still amazes me that someone could get to the Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story, Trevor. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. This isn't one of your fancy dress parties. The reality is that we need men killed. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my wit. But it's a fair point, as always. He'll be here soon, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times. But his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Good to have you with us, Corp. Nothing against the others, but... yet? He made the weapons we left for you on your way out of Colbridge Prison. Go see him when you can. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. Cannot happen now the tank of whale oil's run out. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess.
Perfect. Now plug it in. Just get it near the receptor. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Set the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more.
Academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities subject to the necessary legal amnesty. Tell me what I can make for you. Once served under Admiral Havelock, Captain Havelock then. I don't know if he remembers me, but I fear it's rude to ask. I don't want to embarrass him. River traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation.
must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. Do not attempt to house or care for a friend I'm sorry or family it's so member dark. We who shows signs of blood seen. on their face It is a bit romantic, territory. though, isn't it? The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. I used to they be the hostess be here. The oh, I can tell you stories treatment. about that, believe me. You can call on Cecilia for the more menial tasks. It's what she's suited for. Attention Dunwall citizens, be advised the river crust infestation has spread downriver as far as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered state property.
Entry 1-4. It seems we have moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. With Pendleton's voting block and my military connections, all we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible... Ah, to the point. We need a man who can kill the bastards for us. Corvo is more than capable of that, I have no doubt. End ball. Is this off? Switch. Switch, where the hell is it? My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which... Wallace! Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. <sighs> well... I'll begin again tomorrow. I hope the bed's to your liking. Let me know if you have trouble sleeping.
curfew extends from sundown to sunrise unless you are otherwise authorized. Violators will be subject to interrogation and detained when necessary. Remember, the boldest measures are the safest. Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. 
Listen to the heart now, and find another room. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest.
Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hopple he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? Good day, Master Corvo. Lydia and I trade chores sometimes, and I'm starting to think I never come out ahead. She's a smart one. Are you a nobleman, Corvo? No one seems to know much about you. By your bearing, I'd say so. Lord Pendleton's great-grandfather took a Sokonan chambermaid to wife. On second thought, the story doesn't bear repeating. Even the finest blood can go bad here and there. Lord Pendleton Memoirs, Chapter 27. In my thirteenth year, the despised stepmother at last departed, and Pendleton Hall was again quiet although father had by then sunk into deep depression. It was at this sensitive time that Waverly Boyle first entered my life. She who will be the source of many tender recollections to come. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The old port district has been added to the evacuation list. The weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Howe Pits.
traffic is forbidden from landing in the facility district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. Oh. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. I overheard the Admiral at breakfast talking heart about the overseers. Soul, That's all I heard. Heart. And I think it's better if, if I don't know too much about it. Does that about. mean that the spirit is never released into oblivion? I can keep a heart beating forever with electricity, but what does that mean for any essence trapped within? It'd be easier if I created these processes in waking hours. He's my uncle, and he means I a lot to me. His name is Jeff Kernan. Captain Jeff Kernan. What can I do for you?
Attention Dunwall citizens. Do not attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Ready to go? Just give the signal. <laughs> 